Hi guys, Paul the DIY Guy here. You're watching That's PS, and welcome to my nerdcrafting vlog. Now, as some of you may know, I am a big tabletop game fan, and I absolutely love getting new games. I was recently at a store where my girlfriend saw a very cool game called Super Mario Tactics. Now, the game is played a lot like you'd play the game War on an original deck of cards, but there is a little bit more strategy to it. However, the game does have a pretty fatal flaw, and that is when you try to open it, tends to rip here. And rather than just try to fix the container it came in, I decided I would design my own. And since it's a Mario type game, I decided it'd be a good idea to put it into a warp pipe container. So today I'm going to show you how to make a warp pipe card holder. Check it out. You're going to need the following. A seven count sheet of plastic canvas, two four and a quarter inch round pieces of plastic canvas, some scissors, plastic canvas needles, some green yarn, and some black yarn. First, you're going to need to cut out your pieces. You'll need a 25 by 65 rectangle, a seven by 67 rectangle, and then remove four rows off of each of the circles. The next step takes the longest and is pretty non-exciting. You need to fill in all four pieces with single stitched green yarn. Take your time, maybe listen to a podcast or listen to an audiobook or something. Once your pieces are all filled out, it's time to attach them all together. Start with one round piece and the long skinny piece and using black yarn, start to attach them together. Just work your way around the outside as much as possible and for the top piece, try not to pull the yarn too taut. A little slack will help put it on the other part of the pipe later. Take a short-ish piece of green yarn and tie a knot in one end. Pull from the back side and then put the yarn in between the two pieces and then come out the back side on the other side. Repeat this zipper-like stitch until the two pieces are together. Lastly, for the top, use a piece of black yarn to whip stitch the remaining exposed edge. Now the process for the bottom is pretty much exactly the same, but I did the zippering of the large rectangle together first since it helped keep it nice and round when attaching the bottom piece. Once that's done, you can put your cards and instruction into the bottom piece. Put your lid on and you're all done. Enjoy your brand new Mario Pipe card holder. And that is all there is to it. And this is not the only game insert I've made. If you'd like to check out my small world insert, I will put a link to do so over here. Or for those on a mobile device, there will be a link in the doobly doo. Thank you, Annie, for getting me the game. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until I see you next, Stay crafty, my friends.